so i'm making this video after a long time so today's agenda is to show that how to create a simple app which is a android app using a very simplistic way that is to use mit app inventor so first and foremost what things we need to first we you need a good internet connection and you need some apps on your phone to test it out and to deploy so first and foremost what you need to do you need to go to this website mit app inventor as as the url is given this is the url app inventor dot mit dot edu i just zoom it little bit so that it is is much more legible on the screen so i'll first of all create just first of all click on the create apps this will open a window so I'll click on continue and then i'll click on start a blank project i'll name this app as anim me search then press okay so it is loading in front of you so this is our screen now you need to connect your android phone via a usb tethering cable or you just need to install an app called as you can see my phone is active over here you need to install an app called ai companion this one mit ai2 companion now i have already installed it before now it's asking me to inst to update uh, that one so I'll click on update and let it do the usual thing it is updated now i'll just let it open so as you can see that i need to put some qr code to test it out that whether my phone is connected to the app or not so i'll just close this one and first of all i need to connect via the qr code so how to connect just click on connect and then click on ai companion so as you can see the code is given so what i need to do is that i need to open the phone or my app one more time and then i will i'll just enter the code the code is given e t x j a j for me and click on connect with code so there's some processing happening from the mit app inventor website and is trying to connect to my phone as you can see it is connected so you need to have proper internet connection on your laptop or desktop as well as on your mobile phone now i'll just minimize this one and let's focus on building this app so first and foremost there is a screen and these are on the left hand side you can see the user interfaces options layouts media and so on so first and foremost we need to focus on the horizontal arrangement horizontal arrangement means that the widgets will be sitting side by side what do you, what do i mean by widgets widgets means that check box text box these are widgets so and then we have your horizontal scroll arrangement that it, that the elements can be sitting side by side and there will be a scroll bar followed by table arrangement vertical arrangement and vertical scroll arrangement so my logic is that first and foremost i'll just place the vertical horizontal arrangement to make it go full screen so he, over here we'll click on height and click on fill parent and automatically this will fill through the entire height and for width we'll click on fill parent on the width side so it's selected and then it is just as it is and so but the screen the the screen one is the app name that is that has to be displayed so i'll just make just rename it as anim search 
So if you just change the title, the title will also change. And in the, in the meantime, this is also changing automatically. It is a live reloading happening in the back end as well. Okay, this is an actual app. And I'll make this app available through a Google Drive link on this video. But you, when you will start to install an app from my Google Drive link, you will get a warning message as it is not verified from Play Store. So I just told you beforehand. All right. Now I'll, ins I'll just add text box and as well as a button and a window to show the website. So we'll go to user interface and these are, these are the widgets. Now I need to place the text box and the button side by side. So we need a horizontal arrangement inside the vertical arrangement. We'll click on that and make it fill parent width wise to make it the entire width to be taken. But I don't need to put it in the height wise. Then what I need to do is that I'll go to the user interface and then click on over here you can see some buttons check boxes text box we'll just use a text box over here and place it over and followed by a button on the right side I'll just need I need to make the text box expanded so in the property side that is on the right side you can see height automatic font in typeset are all given so click on the width and click on fill parent automatically the entire available space is taken so I need to change the text for button as suppose I want to do it like this suppose the text word is search I'll just name the search as search so it is a search now let's see the real real view and if you are wondering that how my screen is getting projected my phone project projection is done there is a system called link to windows on specific Android devices so if you have that you can use it otherwise you have to use the other way around which is just install the app and you can do it on your own <coughs> then here you can see a hint is shown over here that hint for text box one we can actually change that so just click on this one text box and just scroll it down you can see a little bit hint for text box so I'll just change the hint for type your anime now if you go over here you can see it is written type for anime now I can also change the font size the font size if you feel it too small so you can also change it to so suppose it was 14.0 I made it 18.0 so a little bit, little bit larger so it's much more legible now type for anime so if you just type in anything over here it will just work now I need to bring one more thing that is your um, another horizontal arrangement just below this one so you can see on the component size that inside the vertical arrangement we have two horizontal arrangement first horizontal arrangement is for storing the text box and button and below is horizontal arrangement to store the web view a web view is a process through which you can actually run a web browser inside your app basically the links will be taken from the text box and some programming functionality will just go, go into it let, later on and will just magically try to search through an uh, anime searching website and will show here then and there in front of you the screen right so I'll just expand it so to make it expanded so I'll hide fill parent with fill parent so it is completely taken up the space and inside that we are going to use the user interface that is your web viewer just place it over here and web view is done so it's by default automatic we'll just make it fill parent and also fill parent so we'll just take the entire available space now if you see the app it doesn't show as much but here the magic thing happens now I'll use a anime search search uh, anime uh, website but I I strongly suggest you to watch anime in, in the most legal process but this is only for educational part that is why I'm going to show you this one so I'll just, I'll just type animewatch.to it is a very popular um, you know anime site to watch 
different kinds of anime. So in this one, it's a very technical thing. I'll just show. I just written the you know the anime, the anime, uh, the website wrong. So it is anywatch.to for this particular. I don't know uh, later on this this page will be available or not, but probably the same thing will be present in the future also. So I'll just show you the searching tag technique that how search happens. So if you search over suppose Naruto and press enter, you can see it is working. Now without typing over in the search area, you can actually change the URL and type whatever anime you like. Suppose it is given in this in this one, it is given animewatch.to forward slash search question mark keyword equal to. Here the keyword is the main purpose. So basically if in some way we could pass the keyword from the text box and place it in this keyword field which is after the equal to we can actually make it search so suppose if i search suppose one piece you can just see that without actually doing i think i have written again the wrong thing suppose if i write suppose bleach this should work okay now it's working so basically we need to use this one this url and followed by a text will be given from our end to work it so what to do we'll go to the app tab over here now we'll go to the blocks now in this blocks we'll just use some logical techniques so basically first of and foremost we'll just open the web viewer and this is the hip. If you click on this one, there are the f many, you know, small blocks are given like scratch. So first and foremost, we'll click on button. So when button is clicked, the logic is that when button is clicked, you will take the data from the text box. You will connect the data from the text box with the URL, and and th then you will just take the URL which you have formed and you'll send it to the web viewer, and the web viewer will load the page for you. So this is a basic f programming flow. So I'll just, just use this flow. So when button clicked, we'll just use this one. When button clicked, we will f we'll open, we'll just take two inputs from the web browser. Over here, we'll call the web browser, but beforehand, we'll just first of all do some techniques. So first and foremost, we have to take the data from the text box. So over here you can see, if you click on text box 1, you can see there some values are given like text box height, width. So we just need some data, that is text. So over here you can see that set text and this is the get text. So this one, this one will allow you to take the text from the text box. Okay. Another one is that um, we have to connect the URL. So to connect the URL, we are combining two strings. So whenever we work with strings, we have to use text. So over here, we are going to use a join command to connect the strings. So this is the data which has to be connected with this URL, right? Now to place the URL, we have to use this one, this blank one. And we'll just copy this one, this from the beginning till the equal to symbol. Right click and copy it and <coughs> paste it over here. Control V. Now this is our, this is the, our main logical part. Now the web browser will open. So we will just find the the most correct one that whenever the button clicks, the web browser will be called, and from the web browser the, the URL will be taken from the text box along with the URL which is given. So we'll use this one call call URL. So when button clicked, call web viewer one. Web viewer is which one? the bottom one this is with the globe symbol now if you see the app it shows nothing right but it is going to work if you go to the block and if you just place it one it should work as simple as that so this is the basic code let's try it out so it's actually working in this end so let's try type the anime suppose Naruto and place search now it should work let's let a finger cross now yes now you can see sometimes it doesn't work, so it's probably due to the network interference is happening. Some intent is happening, okay. But it's actually working. Yeah, and I'm, I'm seeing this intent is actually working. So it is it is blocked by some process, but anyway, it is working, right? Now, to make sure it's actually working in our device, what we need to do is that we 
can um, go to build and click on Android APK. Now, this Android APK is going to be created for you. It's working. It's compiling. Everything's happening in this uh, in the MIT servers. So let's hold our fingers crossed and let's see that this is working actually. So it's creating the barcode for us to download this one. Okay, the barcode is generated. I'll just um, take my. I'll just click on this one, download APK. And the and this browser may say that it is the uh, harmful app which 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 I'm downloading. But anyway, I know I have created one, so it is it's not harmful. So I'll just do one thing: is that I'll share my data from the computer to this one. So um, what I need to do is that I'll just just I'll just take some data from uh, via the. So what what I'll do is that I'll just open my WhatsApp and through that I'll download it because I don't have any other way right now. Just wait to WhatsApp to load. Now I just go over here, click on plus and documents and I'll just fetch that this one that is the APK. Just click on open and forward it. Now let's wait. Now I'll just install the app by the phone. So I'll show you the process. First I'll need to do some settings on my phone because it's a gesture mode. So gesture mode doesn't plays well with you know um, this one with mouse and cursor whenever actually try to share the thing and show it to the other people. So I'll just yes now it's very much clear. So this is a screen. I'll go to WhatsApp. I'll click on this one. You'll get the same option if you would just read via WhatsApp. You'll just download it and click on this one. You'll say yes, it's unsafe, but it's actually safe. Please open. And it's saying that install. I'm installing it. It says a scan. You can already uh, scan it. Let's see. Let's scan it. I hope it doesn't have any kind of viruses because it's from MIT, so it is trustworthy. So it's just scanning for your prevention and protection of um, viruses and let's see. It's doing everything else. It's taking time. Yes, it's fine that it's not say it's safe. So click on install. It's installed. Now let's open it. Now let's let's the problem which we are seeing. Let's see it's happening over over here or not. Let's type this one. Suppose Naruto. Now let's finger cross that it just loads and doesn't doesn't destroys that process. Now yes, same error is there. So so we can actually fix it. Now instead of making this one anime search, we can actually make it with Google also, with YouTube also. How? Let's find it out. So if you go to MIT of Inventor, this one, AI this one, that AI to this one. So since this app is already open, so let's reconnect it. So let's um, just change this one with YouTube. So let's, let's make it with YouTube, okay. So if you go to YouTube, the same process, just go to YouTube and we can just um, see the same process of you searching YouTube. Suppose if I search, suppose Naruto, see, it's the same thing, just a li little bit different process, it is written search query. Now if I change the search query, suppose if I write, um, suppose, uh, Jiu Jitsu, suppose this one. So it's the same process, right? You can see. So I'll just copy this one. 
let's copy this one and paste it over here okay let's connect it again i mean this is this app has stopped working because it is disconnected so i'll just reconnect it with the with ai companion again and here it is i'll just type the code again the code is whatever it is there and connect with code now let's wait it should show up in a few seconds let's try it one more time suppose connect it's happening something is happening refresh ai companion let's try it one more time let's do this one AI companion again this thing is a little bit jiffy you have to just struggle a lot so let's try it one more time y y v l h r sometimes it's a hit or miss but it do work now it's again working now it is showing an anime but it is not actually anime but we have now gone to the phase that where anime is not actually working so anyway so we will just uh, the code is we could the code will be same but we'll just change the name with suppose youtube search or something like that so instead of that type for anime we'll just use uh, type for your type your youtube content okay now this youtube content has changed and if i click on anime so i'll just anime search instead of writing anime search we'll just write there was youtube search okay and if i just search anything suppose uh, mr beast click on search and the data yes is actually working and you can actually play the video suppose this one you can actually play the video the all new vivo v30 series okay so this is what it is now we can actually do take the app so we can take the app from um, again build android app we'll just wait for the qr code to to show up again and i'll just transfer it via my whatsapp again so and let's test it out this is the test version so let's let's try again so it's working compiling things are going to happening this open my whatsapp so that it is available as soon as it is there yeah it's downloading it's one again so let's transfer it via so you said kind of discounted so let's go to this one again over here documents and click on over here and open let's send it to my device okay it should come up okay it's now available to my phone I click it over again open it's saying update so I'll just click on update because it's a same new app so so it says the install without scanning because I have scanned before also so let's open it now so let's search something like suppose your um, Harry Potter click on search it's actually working so this is how you can make a simple app like this using MIT App Inventor.
Thank you for watching the video.